All right, so there's a lot of people asking about installing the software on your striker radio, stuff like this. Um, basically, go to striker's website. Make sure you have the cable that came with your radio. Download the software you need. Okay. It'll ask if you want to sign up for a Google account or something. You can just click, you know, download. Okay. Um, once it's downloaded, install it. And always restart your machine. Every time you, I don't know, I just got in the habit of restarting my computer. Once computer's restarted, you have your shortcut on your desktop for your software. Connect the cable to the data part of the radio. Turn the radio on. Connect the USB into the computer. Wait a couple seconds. You'll hear it go beep on, beep off. It'll make a little, right there, make a little bit of a noise. Okay, that's on Windows 10. I created a shortcut to the desktop for my Striker software, so you go ahead and open that up. Now I already have a data file saved that I modified, so we're going to go in under Setup and COM port as, as an example. If you can't read the radio on one of the COM ports, try switching the other. So we're going to leave it on COM5. And go to program or read from radio. All right, we're plugged in. The radio's on. Click OK, and as you see, it reads from the radio. This will take a couple seconds. Once it has all the information in there, you're going to notice, I'm going to just show you one thing right off the bat. By default, all the Roger beeps are set to 3. I'm going to just go down here, all of them, and then you go to 10 meter. Don't matter which band you pick. See there's band forward to CB. All the Roger beeps normally are set to 3. This one has changed to 6. Um, what that means is when you go into the Roger Beep setting here and you modify your Roger Beeps, okay, when you want to go back to your radio and use them, you have to go to each channel and select it. So say you added a Roger Beep on 7 or say 6, like this one here. That's the one I made. Beep, 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 beep. An aggravating little beep, but it's on 6. When I write this back to the radio, only the channels here that have the Roger Beep set to 6 will actually play it. Remember that. So what I tell guys to do by default, if you just want to go ahead and piss around with a Roger Beep, piss around with number 3. Okay? Because 3, when it writes back to the radio, is where it's going to be set. Okay? You could set them here, but instead of setting all 40 channels or all these channels, which Roger Beep you want, Okay, and all your different bands, you know, most of you guys are probably going to really be using band 4, which is going to be your regular CB channels. So what I tell you guys to do is read from the radio and then save the file as stock. Then adjust Roger Beep Tone 3. Put it wherever you want it. Okay, and then you can write back to the radio. That way most of your channels, when you hit the Roger Beep switch, are going to play the one you've just done. Other than that, you're going to have to go to Program, go to Menu Item 2. They're going to have to pick your Roger Beep for that channel. So I'll keep this in mind. Okay. There's your features, optional features. You have your automatic squelch control, SWR Protect, DC Protect, your Beep. Right here is where you add whatever you want for, your, for the display. That's what shows on the bottom above Striker 955 HP. That's where you put your text. And here you set up your timeout and everything else. Your frequency, your VFO setting, your scan mode, your resume time, the model name, how you want it to show. If you want it to show the battery voltage only, model name and voltage alternating, or just a model name, you save it there. Your SWR protect, you don't want that at 10. Say you want it to 
get all about a 2.2, 2.3, just in case you have a bad tuned amp and you're using an amp. Okay. Um, battery voltage warning, low is 10, 5, high 6. Your dim, the color you want on screen when you're done. Okay. You can set it to whatever. Okay. So that's your features in that window. This is all your channels. You got your Roger beep here. You got to reset and then initialize if you wanted to. Okay. You got your local information. You can put whatever you want in here. All right. Which we're not going to put anything in there. I'm just showing you. And then your area code, manufacturer code. These you can't access, but it will show you right here. You can see your model number, the purchase date, okay, the radio type, frequency range, and the product date that they they went ahead and made it. You can do all that. So if I wanted to do this change that I made, which really wasn't much, go to program and write to radio. Okay. Also, if there's ever an issue with your radio where you write something and it screws it all up. Sometimes these bands will get screwed up here, where you go to band 4, or, and it's all 10 meters. Sometimes people get these all screwed up. Instead of holding down your three buttons on the left side of the radio and powering on and doing a reset there, you can bring it up in software, go to Setup, Initial Setting. And that will bring your radio back to Initial Settings. So that's the basics of the software. Those are the tabs you're going to be working in right here your optional features, your Roger Beep tones if you want to make a tone, and then, you know, make sure your, your band here, band 4 is all in order, proper frequencies, stuff like that. So I just want to alert you about this Roger Beep deal here, and they don't sound exactly on a computer like they do on the radio, of course. Like 7 I didn't touch yet, 8 I didn't touch, I pissed around with the one on 6, but Everything defaults when you're right back to the radio to 3. So pretty much whatever's here on 3 with the Roger Beep on, that's what it's going to play. So that's how you do your Roger Beeps. In here, you pick the, uh, as an example, your first tone. Pick this here. How fast, how much time. Okay, it's real low. Okay, sometimes when you're working in the Roger Beeps, it'll do this. You won't be able to hear playback. you got to restart the software. That's a bug I did find. But um, that's pretty much your software, guys. That's it. If you have issues, I'm not going to save anything because I already have my radio done. If you have issues, um, there's a help article here. I need help with the Striker software working on my computer. Tells you about going in device manager, blah 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 blah. I will do all this. I will put the links in the description below the video. But that's pretty much the software. Set up your name of your thing, all the main settings if you wish to. Set up your Roger beeps, make new Roger beeps, however you want to do it. Right to the radio. So I hope that was helpful. This was for a 955. I don't have any other models at this time, so I really don't know if any of those are that much different. So, enjoy your radio.